You're watching the Western Athletic Conference on ESPN. Homecoming festivities in Abilene, Texas today all lead up to the football game at Wildcat Stadium. Looking forward to the matchup today. It's the Lamar Cardinals and the Abilene Christian Wildcats. And now welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. Zach Carlisle along with Andy Penny. Blair Zapata will kick things off for Abilene Christian, a redshirt sophomore from Richardson, Texas. DeMarco Roberts and Kirkland Banks are back deep for Lamar. Glad you're with us on ESPN+. Plus. Off we go from Abilene, Texas, and this game begins with a touchback. Play on first down. The back is James Jones, number two. They're going to give it to him, and Jones easily has the first down as he takes it across the 40-yard line. Pro was not. This obviously a passing situation, but now with an empty backfield, third and ten. Jones goes out in motion the back, and Chandler going to take off. Doesn't do this a lot. Got a long way to go, though, on third down and ten. Looks like a designed run. Starts at the 30. First time for the Wildcats. They'll start with Tyrese White, who is... Did not come into the year as the starter. Picks up seven yards and a good start to this drive. It's her in that good, young offensive line. Earl throws. This is quick. Anthony Smith out of the backfield. He's got some daylight. Into Lamar territory to the 38. First down and plus territory in an empty backfield. And it's Peyton Mansell. We're going to see two quarterbacks probably for both teams. Mansell. Breaking free, taking off for the touchdown. Both of those throws were interceptions against Sam Houston. Quick throw here, ball in the air. Dive and incomplete. Wing pass to Smith. Took a big hit, got his bell rung, but he is now back on the field, third down and 10. Noah Caldwell, the tight end in motion. Now Earl to throw this way to the outside. He goes, and it's knocked away. Dumay from Oakland, California. Now Mike Chandler, a freshman out of Texas. Converse, Texas. And he's going to drop and throw, and pressure's coming. And Chandler set. A lot of pressure from everywhere, and it ends up into the arms of Jordan Pop. It works out well, and it's a long field here for the Wildcats. So Stone Earl in this offense after going three plays for a touchdown, then three plays and out. And here we go. They'll put it on the ground. Good start to the drive. Tyrese White still going all the way to the 20. Earl, time to throw. Time runs out, down he goes. Cayman Lane, second sack of the season, the freshman. Drive the last drive for uh, Lamar, and pressure there. Tim is uh, able to get the play right at the line of scrimmage. Chandler completes to the sideline. A stumble from Marcellus Johnson, but he's able to pick up the first. Has been uh, Lamar, it's just a matter of if they can push down and get points on the board. Man in motion was Dozy Efede, the running back, or receiver rather, and this is James Jones in a clear. Keeps his footing and takes it in for the touchdown. 46 yards of excellence from James Jones. That was tough running and then showed the speed as well. Touchdown of the year for Jones and Stone Earl tosses this in front of him. Davion Johnson taken off, runs into his own man. That day with the Wildcats, the 47. Now Stone Earl's going to throw it and he's got Denver Holman open, adjusting, making the catch. Holman down to the six. 47 yards to Denver Holman. And they're going to spread it out and go five wide. And Earl going to keep it. Stone Earl cuts back and stays on his feet and takes it in for the touchdown. I'm by seven in a team that struggles to generate offense sometimes. Now they got to go do it again. Quick throw here to catch Eric Bizarro. They draw up on third and six. Chandler two for seven through the air today. Pressure comes, escapes somehow, and now he's going to take off, and he's knocked down right there by Hunter Keir. 
to Holman. Everything else has been lateral to trying to let the receivers make a play, but third down and eight here from the 19. Lamar is going to blitz. Earl stands in. He's got Clark on a crossing pattern. Kobe Clark takes it to midfield. 31 yards to the all-world receiver, DeMarco Roberts, on the tackle. Well, we thought today, Zach, one of the keys today was can Stone Earl stretch the field? We haven't seen it much. ACU had just 15. But that's the quarterback down on the field, Stone Earl. They're looking at his right leg. His cousin Bella on the Abilene Christian women's basketball team. You never like to see that big leg cast. Wipes the yep. tears away. Yeah. Going to try to figure some things out with Chandler, and he's going to drop back and throw it. He's got a man open down the sideline all alone. Nathan Gazcamp, he's chugging to the end zone. Touchdown, Lamar. 80 yards. He was all by himself. Cardinals are an extra point away from a tie game. And on first down, Mike Chandler's going to throw it, and it is caught. Marcellus Johnson. He's been able to uh, move the chains and keep drives alive, sustain drives for the Cardinals, make a big play when he needs one. Wants one here. Got a man. It's Pizarro down the sideline. Pizarro to the 40. You know, to me, I think the, the Lamar defense has been good enough to make plays to to allow your offense to go for it. But I'm already seeing some personnel changes here. That's Giffen, and, the punter. Yeah, so uh, for the third time today, Lamar inside the ACU 40-yard line, although this might be a field goal attempt. This is going to be more of a field goal attempt. Whoa, and, and okay. One. Well, Giffen punts and kicks and does kick off. He does everything. He is the leg for Lamar. This would be 54 yards. His career long is 53. He tried a 53 last week against Sam Houston and missed it. It's a good snap. It's a good hold. The kick is good. Bailey Giffen buries one from 54 yards. A new career long for the senior out of Bryan, Texas. And... Uh, Ends up transferring out of Iowa. Doesn't think he, that's the spot for him. Comes to Abilene, Texas, originally from Belton, Texas. Takes a snap here on second and six. And Denver Holman is open and makes a move. And he's out to the 47-yard line. As he looks at passes as, a, as opposed to staying in the pocket. See if that continues. Devion yep. Johnson in motion. And that's who they throw it to on the left side. Got a block. Johnson with speed down the sideline. Made a move. Cuts back. Still going. Somersaults to the eight-yard line. That was 39 yards, and he ran forever first and goal. Well, the boys in film study will have fun with this one. First, Jordan Brooks-West with a great block on the outside. It's just a play to get Johnson in some space. He makes a guy miss. He runs all the way across the field. A little stiff arm, which they'll laugh about tomorrow in film study. Just lost his balance <laughs> inside the 10-yard. Five wide from Ansel here. Feels like a pretty important third and goal early on in the third. Mansell's going to run it, cuts up and scores. Untouched for six. Mansell's second touchdown of the game. How they have to respond here in the third quarter. Had the lead at halftime. ACU's quickly taking it back. How will the Cardinals respond? This is Jalen Dume. We've seen their two quarterbacks as well. Dume takes a hit. He's still going. That's what they would call an angry run as he takes it out to the 41 yard line. The opener. They scored 17 total points, in, including overtime against Northern Colorado. And outside of that, scored seven points in three games combined. So this is a big time half from the Cardinals. And there is the tight end, Jeremy Davis, incomplete on the sideline earlier. Catches one here, the junior from Houston. Out, Lamar second down and eight. 
They're going to fake it, and Chandler, he wants it all to the sideline, and it's caught, and it's Eric Pizarro. He's been a big-time contributor. Strong left. Double motion. They're going to give it to Hunter Batten, the up man. Second effort, it is close. Comes down to the spot. Well, the Wildcats had him stopped. You're right, it's second effort. It's all going to depend on a spot, which I think is right on the five-yard line. I think it's the line of the five-yard line. Oh, they're pointing yep. ACU's way. How about that? Turnover on downs. Great stop. Good push by the defensive front. ACU today, three of seven on third down. Mansell with the late blitz. Tries to avoid it, he's got room. This is where he is special. Peyton Mansell into Lamar territory. How about that? They're gonna mark him out of bounds at the 46 and a gain of 26. Yardage, if not enough for a first down, keep this drive alive. Number 85, Andrew Stripling, a third tight end. The depth chart comes in, lined up at the bottom. This is Mansell. On third down, going to tuck and run. Needs the 16, got it. First down near the 10. And sell again. He has run for two touchdowns. Did he lose the ball? Lamar comes out of the pile with it. Tylo Phillips has the football for the Cardinals. That's a turnover. Check and see again. It's a quarterback sweep coming left, and as he goes down, yep, the ball pops out. Uh huh. Interesting. I'm I'm gonna try to pick my brain on that. Mike Chandler. Meanwhile, he is gonna find the turf. Osaritan Obadi with the sack. Figure AC is gonna get good field position with Jordan Brooks West to the sideline it goes and <laughs> it's a good effort but it's going to be outside the 40 yard line or big no call I should say they need the 32 they're going to toss it Davion Johnson with some space oh what a play call and what a move Johnson's got the first down you stumped me I didn't I didn't I was really nervous I didn't know if I could get this at all Sure enough, I was right. Toss Davion Johnson, <laughs> and he'll take it to the seven yard line. In the second half for ACU, Lamar's only had the ball twice in the entire second half. ACU's trying to put it away now, first and goal. They're gonna hand it Jordan Brooks West, trying to get the edge, makes a move, and right around the line of scrimmage. Divine Buckram on the stop. And the field just got longer. Noah Caldwell just got caught with the holding on the edge, so. Mm. First and goal from the eight just became first and goal from the penalty. 18. Previous spot, first down. Just don't know if Lamar has the type of offense or the offensive firepower to score twice with less than six minutes now. First and goal at the 18 yard line. Jeremiah Dobbins trying to find a lane to the sideline and Buckram makes that stop, but yet another flag. Matt Jones. Number 51, offense, 10 yard penalty. Previous spot, first down. He's a member of our broadcast team today. <laughs> Boy, no doubt. <laughs> a great call there. Yep. <laughs> Defense, as far as I know. So it's first and goal at the 28. How often do you see this? Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. You have to play conservative here on a low percentage. Try to get you 5, 10 yards and get Zepeda a little, little closer for a field goal attempt. Try to go up seven. They're going to hand it Tyrese White. Makes a cut, good lane to the 20. That is exactly what Abilene Christian needed to get into much better field goal range. It's an 18 yard pickup for White. Three for six on the season. Zapata's kick is good. Cardinals too. Who saw this coming today? Empty backfield, we've seen the quarterback draw a lot out of the empty backfield. Mike Chandler, the freshman from Converse, Texas, is going to throw it over the middle, finally completes it to Marcellus Johnson. Five. They've got a score on this drive to get this thing to overtime. And with just one timeout left, their eggs are all in the basket on this drive. 
Chandler throws to the outside. It's been a busy day for Eric Pizarro. When he's caught it, it's been a very important catch. That's his fourth one to the 41 yard line and a huge third and six coming up. Talk about huge, look at the stick by Ryan Staff. Boom, mm. great hit. The pass was up high, Pizarro had to jump up, catch it up over his helmet and because of that, Staff got a kill shot on it as Pizarro's feet touched the ground. Staff's helmet hit him right in the chest. And now, I didn't see helmet to helmet. something there. that's reviewable, the they're gonna stop it. They're down in about six. Now for the Wildcats, I think that, mm. is that what Lamar is saying? Is it targeting here? Boy, I thought it was down lower than that. But Let's look at it. Big time hit by Stapp. After the play, the replay. personal foul, number Man, I two. Thought he came I thought he came across Blocking their chest. Blocking out of bounds. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Again. The down will count. It will be third down, Lamar. Yard on sports wow. conduct penalty. It's third down at 21. So it was on James Jones, the back, and I didn't see what happened there. Extracurriculars after. Third down and 21. Chandler trying to make something happen, and he has way too far to go down at the 32. Don't let anybody behind you if you're in the secondary. Chandler fakes. Steps up, he's got to get 15 yards, sideline. He will not get there, and he's hit hard by Torrey Hargrove, and a turnover on downs, and the ball game for Abilene Christian. It's gonna hold up my uh, suit jacket later. Peyton Mansell gonna take a knee, and that is a big win for Abilene Christian to keep their season alive. They're gonna go to four and three on the season. Lamar drops to two and four, and ACU gets its first whack win and its first AQ7 win today to kind of keep their season alive as they go into their bye week. It's a big one for Abilene Christian today. They needed it. The final score is Abilene Christian 24 and Lamar 17. This has been a presentation of the Western Athletic Conference on ESPN. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. Until next time, Zach Carlisle, Andy Penny, Coy Oslin, the whole crew saying so long, take care. Good night from Abilene, Texas.